Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button if you would like to see more content just like this. Without any delay, let's get into the 5 different ways that you can get your baby to move or open his or her legs during a gender ultrasound. Also stay tuned for my personal results at the end after trying all 5 of these tricks and my final thoughts. Before we begin, make sure that you are at least 14 weeks pregnant before booking a 4D scan and at least 16 weeks pregnant if you are booking a 3D scan. Alright, let's go to number 1. Drink lots of water or liquids the week of the appointment. This is to ensure that you have ample amniotic, oh, amniotic fluid for the baby to be floating around in. If there's a lot of amniotic fluid, the baby can freely move and hopefully have enough space to open their legs. Number two, have something sweet to eat or drink 15 minutes before the appointment. Having something sweet to eat or drink causes the sugar to excite the baby and make him or her move. Most moms actually recommend drinking orange juice before you see your sonographer and they claim to have great results. Number three, have a full bladder when going to your appointment. This one has a few mixed reviews. Some say full and some say empty, but most say full. They say that the ultrasound rays travels better through water. Watch until the end for my final thoughts on this one. Number four, drink or eat something with caffeine. Now, although this one doesn't come highly recommended, but considering that a small amount of caffeine isn't harmful, it's worth a try. Try having one of your favorite coffees or a chocolate, which will excite the baby and get them kicking and moving. Number five, talk to the baby during your appointment. At around 18 weeks, your baby can hear your voice and they love your voice. So talking to the baby or just talking in general will get the baby to move and try and engage with you. All right, so we've spoken about the five most popular tricks to get your baby to move for a gender ultrasound, but what was my result? To begin with, I took it at 16 weeks and four days, and I tried doing all five of the tricks, and even though my baby moved, he or she didn't or couldn't open his or her legs. So my sonographer gave me a few extra points to remember for another appointment. With that said, my final thoughts are to empty your bladder before the appointment. The sonographer is of the opinion that if your bladder is empty, there's more space in your abdomen for the baby to move around in. Another tip she gave me was to have something sweet to eat or drink only 5 minutes before the appointment and not 15. The closer you time your sweet intake, the more accurate or more likely um, you'll be to get the baby to move during the appointment. I personally suggest drinking something versus eating something since the digestion process for liquids are so much faster than it is for solids. And lastly, last but not least, if it is at all possible, wait until you are at least 18 to 20 weeks pregnant before you check. The baby may already have formed genitalia but may be way too small for the sonographer to see exactly what they need to see in order to give you an accurate answer. That is unless you are having a 4D scan. With a 4D scan, you can check as early as 14 weeks. Great, so I hope these tips were helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these tips and what your experience was. Thank you for watching. Bye.